everybody. This is another video lecture for Unit 6, and in this lecture we're going to be talking about Chapter 35, Molecular Weight and Formula Weight. Um, and I am going to talk, instead of about molecular weight and formula weight, I'm going to be talking about this idea of molar mass, because molar mass is where I like to call it. Okay? And so we can determine the mass of a compound simply by looking at the periodic table and adding up all the parts of it. Okay, And so this isn't, it's not rocket surgery, but we're going to need a little bit of um, time and a calculator to figure this out. Okay, So if we have sugar, C6H12O6, remember a mole of sugar is roughly how much is in a teaspoon. Okay. Um, when you're adding it to your coffee. But we want to know how many, what the molar mass of that is, okay? Whether it's a molecular weight or formula weight, I try to avoid all that. I'm going to say the molar mass. How much does one mole weigh? Well, in order to do this, we're going to need to have a periodic table handy and a calculator. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take how many of each there are. So for carbon, there's six. Okay, and then I'm going to look at the periodic table. So you'll see on the periodic table that carbon has a mass of 12.011. Okay, so we take all six of those and we multiply by 12.011. And then we do hydrogen. Hydrogen, how many of them are there? There's 12 of them. And we look at the periodic table again. We see that hydrogen has a mass of 1.008. 1.008. And then we do the same thing for oxygen. How many oxygens are there? Six. And then we multiply this together. And we get... And then we look at the periodic table again. I'm not going to do it a third time. But let's see. 15.9... 15.9994, okay, and then all we have to do is multiply those together and add them up. So we do 6 times 12.011, and this gives us 72.066, and we do 12 times 1.008, and that gives us 12.096. And then we do 6 times 15.9994, and that gives us 95.9964. And so now we take those and we add them up. So we get 180.1584. Okay, let me write that out here. 180.1584. And that's grams per mole. That's how many grams are in one mole. Okay. We can do one more example. Let's see here. For that one more example, let's do something a little more straightforward. Um, let's do calcium chloride. Okay, now calcium chloride is a compound used to um, um, to dry things out. It's what we call a desiccant. Okay, so let's see here. So it takes water out of the air and things like that. Okay, so let's see. Calcium. How many calciums are here? There's just one. So the calcium is one times, and we look at the periodic table, and calcium is 40.08. And then we look at chlorine. How many chlorines are there? There's two, right? And it's 35.45 when you look at the periodic table. Okay, so now we do the math here. Let me get rid of... <laughs> okay. So you had calcium equals... 1 times 
and you had chlorine is equal to 2 times 35.45. So this is going to be 40.08, and this is going to be 2 times 35.45, and that's 70.9. Okay, and then we add those two up. And you get 110.98, and that's in grams per mole. So that means every one mole weighs 110.98 grams. Okay? So there it is. Um, two examples. We'll do more in class, but that's, um, that's how you calculate the molar mass of a compound. Have a great day.